absolutely knocked it out of the park. You had your man on the floor as long as he was on his feet. How good did it feel to get in there and put on that performance? It's a great performance. I'm really, really happy with it. Last time we were in the tree arena here, not my last one, Casabar, the one before in the tree arena, we had an opponent who ran and it didn't really bring out the best in me. So tonight, in fairness to your man, he was apprehensive, but he did come. He came to have a fight and fair play. We got up after the first knockdown and the second and uh, the third he just couldn't take any more, so fair play to him. But it uh, feels really good. I'm really, really happy with the performance and uh, roll on the next one. Thomas, that was the most dominant I think we've seen you in there. Is there any correlation to those third select flights you're taking now? <laughs> I think it's more the fact that the, the um, standard of opponent is picking up, you know what I mean? Like we, we could have got anybody in here to fight tonight, but this was a guy with a real winning record. You know, he's only been beaten once, so um, in comparison to what people usually fight at a 7 8 no. I think we're doing things the right way and we're taking the proper fights at the right time and credit to my management team, SOS and Platform Sport. And tell us this, obviously you seem to have the total package in there, you seem to obviously have the fighting skills, you have the knockout power, you're on the mic, you have the crowd behind you. Mania 2000. Mania 2000, you know, you have the all tonight. Tell us this, where do you see yourself going next? Because it looks like the sky is the limit for Thomas Carty and do you think Dana White might have to pull you to the side and say, we want you on more of UFC fight path cards? I can imagine I'm probably in a really lucrative position right now, you know, um, we'll see what happens next, but I think I could sell out the tree arena myself, you know, I could do a show like this, headline a show like this, so um, who knows where the road is going to lead us now, but when we started off we didn't really know where we were going to be and I think we pushed the boat out fight by fight and we're going to continue to push the boat out and see where it leads us. No party? No party, brother. Thomas, over here, first off, congratulations, what a win. You put him down once. You put him down again, and then you finally put, put him down. Talk me through the game plan and what was going through your head during those rounds to finally get him down and put him out. Um, the game plan going into this fight was, we, we've seen him before, he's quite game, you know. We've, we watched a little bit of tape on him. Me and Magic were talking about before, and we, and we said that we would keep things simple, take no chances, work off the jab, and let everything follow up the jab, and that's exactly what happened. First round's cagey, look, what do you expect? It's only the first round. And then, um, I landed left in the first round, fair play, we took a well and really loosened out going into the second and then I think it was the second was all three knockdowns, yeah? Yeah, so um, that was the game plan going into that fight, work off the jab, work the jab and uh, what happens happens and that's what happens. I, I, seen, well, I think I seen there was a brief conversation between, what, what were you talking and all during the fight because I seen him between a cage, I think that there, there was something said up. I don't think he speaks English, mate, to be completely honest. <laughs> <laughs> we were doing sign language back to each other. I don't know, man. I don't know. But no, congratulations, Tom. We appreciate sure also that promise that we have will be fulfilled. Thank you so much. Consider it done. Bosh. Thomas, another big performance on another big stage. How did it feel to get that stoppage in front of a Dublin crowd? Felt amazing, man. Felt really, really felt good. And people used to always ask me about the crowd in the tree arena. And I worked really closely with Alan here with my sports psychologist and try and like block them all out. But this time, it really, really gave me energy, I really felt it. And uh, I used to think it was a bit of a myth that people say they felt energy from the crowd, but tonight I really, really felt it. And uh, really, really enjoyed it. It's the first time I've kind of taken it all in, to be completely honest. It's my third time here. Two, the first two events were very, very special, but for me, this was the most special. This was, I saw the most tickets for this that I've ever sold in my career. Um, the balls around town has been something different. Like I've experienced it twice, as I said before, 2K data cards, but the balls for this one, posters everywhere of me, you know what I mean, everybody's talking to me about the fight, um, all I'm hearing from people is they have tickets, looking forward to the fight, where are we going after this, that and the other, so uh, yeah, it's a really, really special one for me this time. It was another quick fight, just how soon do you want to get back out there? ASAP, bro, anybody who knows me, my strength coach John Connors is in the back there, we'll be straight back in the gym next week. I know people say I'm straight back in the gym, no, genuinely, this is what I do, you know what I mean, I'm lucky enough to be a full-time pro. I know many, many lads who don't have the luxury of being a full-time professional. Financially, it's very hard, man. And uh, I'm in a very, very lucky position to be where I am. I've worked hard for it, but lucky as well. I know a lot of lads who work hard who are, don't have the privilege to train full-time and to really put it in, so I'm going to make the most of it. Straight back at it. Congratulations, Thomas. Thank you, brother. Thomas, surely you know that victory, the tree arena, the headline. You want, you want the headline, and that, that has to happen. Look, we've seen you here with Katie Taylor, obviously UFC fight past night. It's, it's got to happen, and surely we can get it around Christmas time. Christmas time would be nice, all right. Oh, yeah, yes. Christmas time. It'd be nice to get the old presents in for Christmas. But we'll have a chat with my management team, see what they can pull out of the bike. And they haven't oh. steered me wrong yet. So 
it's uh, it's been building towards that. It's kind of it's it's kind of obvious without being said, really, isn't it? The headline act is the next yeah. next step. Definitely. Yeah, look, you, you probably have many offers on the table. Like, have you have you looked at the next offer? I know you won't overlook opponents, but do you know what the next step is? Do you have any there? Next step is to get a pizza, bro. I've been pleading on, I'm not thinking past that. I'm and next two of us. Yeah, I've only had breakfast today and a banana, so next step is to get a pizza, to be completely honest. We'll see, man, we'll see. I don't make the decision, there's just for you, they tell me the fight. I have a great management team, really, really grateful for them, and uh, they make the decisions. I fight, that's how it goes. Well, hopefully you get the, the main event here, that's what. That's Fingers what crossed, brother. Tomo, did you, did you bring a wall? Keep it PG now. <laughs> Liam, Liam wouldn't be asking you to bring a wall with you. No, of course not, man. Um, I got, here, I got clamped this morning, by the way, folks, just to let you know, yeah? Who's paying it? 120 quid. I don't know, Shannon should have put a tick on the card, but she didn't, so I got clamped this morning. There's cortisol levels through the roof to wake up to, yeah? Obviously, heavyweight boxing, obviously, is not very very often you see, you know, people drop, drop in body punches. That's that's too, like, obviously, Pavel Sar as well. Like, do you think you probably get the credit you deserve for, for stopping people to the body in all that way? Obviously, everybody things of the head shots and the dramatic falls and things like that. Do you think I might go under under the radar about it, the fact that you're dropping people to, with body shots? Yeah, man, that's a, a testament to my skill set. I, I've spoken a lot this week about my skill set. I'm not one trick pony, you know what I mean, uh, left hand knockout artist over the top. No, I, I have a serious skill set. And to be honest, I would class myself as a more skillful boxer than a knockout artist anyways, to be completely honest. So, testament to my skill set, my fundamentals, and. Like I said, as I step up the levels, you'll see more, because that's only a glimpse of what I can do in the ring. If you've seen me sparring, you know what I'm talking about. If, you know, I don't know, Matt, you've seen me spar a couple of times. And they, I have, I have. Yeah, Matt, you've seen me spar. And a couple of people have seen me spar. I can do a lot in the ring. I can do a lot more than people might think, so uh, keep watching. Keep my, obviously, everybody's mentioned in the three arena. Obviously, I think it was the last summer, you're in Daly Mount Park, is that correct? Shamrock Rovers, Bohemians? No, <laughs> Daly Mount Park, Daly Mount Park, yeah, but... Do you know what? Like, like that may be a more realistic option for you, obviously, maybe than here. It's, you know, it's very costly, obviously, run a show in the three arena. You obviously, with it being your local club and stuff like that as well. Like, It'd be great. If, if, do you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to put this to bed straight away. It would be great, but uh, they haven't really shown much interest, to be completely honest. And actually, there's been a bit of kickback, to be completely honest. So, no, Dellyman Park is finished. I Are you changing that. football clubs then as well? <laughs> Korean? <laughs> Up, up the band siders. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Out, I'm, I'm more of a Celtic fan lately, anyways. No, listen, I love Bohemians, but we had a, we had a chat about it. Um, all the Bowes fans I know, anybody on the committee would love it, but the people at the top don't associate boxing with Daily Man Park, so it is what it is. That's obviously a few many renders that you've done down the road. Up four. So as, as the next step, obviously now maybe towards one of the European straps. Obviously pushing up to ten rounds. I guess it's obviously having the activity to follow with it. If you can get another fight straight away, sort of again, you're ready for 10, or does it depend on obviously the time frame of when it is? Yeah, of course. Uh, what was the question there? Am I ready? So that's about, is that about four or eight rounders, I think you've done down a row, so is it next step now obviously up to 10? Yeah, I, I think so. I think so. I don't really know what the trajectory is. Like, I, I don't know how many you should have before you have the next. So, like I said, it's just one of those things I'm going to keep doing what management tell me to do. They haven't steered me wrong yet. So, uh, long may it last. I'm not too sure that, like how many you need to do for. I know there's no. Well, well, well obviously there. I think you can do like one eight rounder and go straight to ten. But like yeah. you're happy with the progress you've had over eight rounders. Obviously a lot of early stoppages. But yeah. you, you like the obviously the because you're not going to get someone for an Irish title, you know. So you might as well. I guess you could pass that stage now. And go. And, well, let's look at like a, a European reach no in some in some fashion. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. Let's let's keep stepping up the levels. Let's keep taking the right fights at the right time and, and see where we end up. Your prediction tomorrow night, obviously AJ and Dubois, obviously at that 96,000 in Wembley, like, can you dream of an occasion of obviously you appearing on a big card like that, 96,000 people? Crook Park, I guess you could probably push close to it if, if obviously then with health and safety, but could you imagine obviously what it's like to walk out in front of 96,000? Yeah, my thing with, with these big events is like, why not me? You know what I mean? Why, why can't it be me? People keep asking, can you, mate? Of course I can. You know, that's what we're in the game for is if, if you don't like yourself, you're in the wrong game. So uh, can I imagine it? Yeah, absolutely. It would be amazing. But it is something that I don't think I'm too far away from doing. You know, keep making the right decisions, keep winning these fights, winning them in style, keep building the profile. Absolutely. Um, prediction for tomorrow night: great fight, man. Great fight. Don't set in the fans. <laughs> you have to be diplomatic when you're on the mic up in front of the crowd. You know what I mean? But um, I don't know. I think 
We'll see. We'll see. It's, it's heavyweight boxing, but isn't it? Anyone, it's, anyone, has, a chance, happen. Man, anyone has a chance. There's, there's a lot of stories going around, but it, it, what really matters as an active heavyweight myself, it matters who turns up tomorrow night, what kind of form they're on. And uh, to be honest, anyone can get caught, man. Anyone can get caught. Do you think sometimes people might play into the fact that the Bois was obviously easy to hit for her the last time out? We've seen it with Joe Joyce in the past, like, he had a granite chin and he'd take it all. Like, the Bois could probably take AJ's best punch tomorrow night and knock him out with the next punch. Yeah, you can say that. Look, it's easy to talk about talking hypotheticals, but it's heavyweight boxing. One jab can change the whole thing, you know, never mind the right hand. So, uh, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. I just think if if Dubois gets hit with the same amount of the right hands as he did against Hergovic, but it's AJ hitting him, I don't think it goes past three or four punches, you know. AJ seems to be on form, and he nearly decapitated Ngannou in the last fight. So, if he lands like that, nobody's standing up to that. A horse wouldn't stand up to it, you know. Absolutely, man. We just watched the footage back. Me and Magic watched the back. He sent me on the footage I have on my phone here. Um, There's like three knockdowns in a row, finishing the night. Yeah, it has to be. Especially considering the opponent winning record, the whole lot, count the fight, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, it'd be nice. It'd be nice. I could do it in our holiday. I think all my family are going to Tenerife next week, except me. So it'd be nice to get the fight going and head over after. Tom, just one last question. What a walkout. Oh my god. Myself and the lads Thank you. Were, were, were predicting uh, a walkout. And I, I, I said, the last can, the convention is that I said Grace into Maniac 2000. Did you actually? I, no, or she didn't. I said, I, said, I said Grace into Maniac 2000. Uh, when Maniac 2000 came on, I sat there, I was like, it, it, it's here. But can you just describe to me the feeling of the crowd? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to look for the DJ here that put it together for me last night at 12 o'clock, lads, by the way, because. I had a walkout song. Who walked out the free from desire? Anyone yet? It must be it must be the come sorry for ruining it, but I couldn't I couldn't use it, so I had to change it. And uh, always Grace first, Maniac 2000, Dublin born and bred. But can you just talk to me quickly, just one last question. Just what did it feel like coming out and the crowd and just the whole sensation of coming out and just seeing everyone around you? Amazing, man. Absolutely. Man. As I said, tonight is the first time I've actually kind of gained energy from the crowd. Prior to that. I used to try and block them out. They all look like Saturday Instant Me and SpongeBob or something like that. I was trying to block them all out and say, Jesus, hope I don't recognize anyone's face. But tonight, seen a few faces, but then was able to switch straight back on. So credit to my sports psychologist, we've been working really closely together. Thomas, catch one last guy again. Two sauces tonight? Well, the carrot, I'm going to be honest with yeah, sure. In a stump for your trades, care to be come on for your trade, don't you know? Pretty, ain't that going to be on? Be a long day on Shane, you know. Um, uh, Boom Mason, uh, Dara Bowdy. Uh, Shanae, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to say, atmosphere is going to exhaust to reach the ticket the heel too. Yeah, absolutely, you know, the um, email on ticket, the email on the sauce, that's an atmosphere, like I said, by my Tatna boss, really, by my Tatna boss, um, yeah, by my Tatna boss, I'm out called her fault. And this care that he had planned on the Shabbat's care team? Trade topic, if I go on. Yeah, trade topic, trade to reach, good luck. Cannot. Trade to reach, reach. No one helix. Helix, can't go. Is enough to kosher enough to have Yeah, kosher enough. Uh, short door set. Uh, Wellington House. Uh, I guess it's very legit in the chart. Grimmel, Tom. Grimmel, Carol. Oh, all done.